Hey, welcome to Info Gamer. Nate's busy texting some important people, so I'll just. Oh, he he's done. <laughs> So, on this part we're going to do the doodle jump where when your doodle jump guy leaves the left side of the screen, he pops up on the right side of the screen, we're going to put in the code that makes that happen. Ever wondered how that happened? This is how. Now we will teach you how to create your left and right boundaries so that when your character goes off the left side of the screen, he turn, appears on the right side of the screen, and as he goes off the right side of the screen, he appears on the left side of the screen. A lot of platform games utilize this functionality in the game so that it will wrap around and you don't fall off the edge of the screen, or you don't just run into a wall or an invisible wall or the wall of your phone, and so that the game has more versatility or more playability as you go off one side of the screen it can add a uh, element of skill some I've seen in doodle jump some uh, platforms where the next platform you have to go to the off the screen and appear on the right side of the screen to get to the platform because there's a big gaping hole in the paper in the in between the platforms and so this will be an awesome lesson and we'll try and make it really quick so first thing we will go to our prefabs character and click on him our box dude and we'll change the gravity scale to zero and this is just for testing purposes in this video so that you can see how the game works rather than just having our character fall off the bottom of the screen so now that we've changed that to zero we can start creating our boundaries and we will need two empty game objects one that will be on the right side of the screen one that will be on the left side of our background because our background is our screen for our phone so we'll go to game object create empty then we need to reposition him and we'll eyeball it at first so right right about four is a good X position. Then the Y will be center at zero and the Z will also be center at zero because the Z doesn't matter for uh, this aspect of our 2D game. Then we'll rename it and I'll call it the right side. I'm going to quickly create one side of the screen and then we'll just duplicate it and move it over to the other side of the screen. So we have our right side, we'll go to Add Component, Physics 2D, and Box Collider. Now it's not the right size, so we'll go here where it says Size, and we'll change the Y to be greater, until it's greater than the height of our screen. And then we'll make it a rounded off number, so 11 is good and we can see that it extends past the top and bottom of our screen then we'll make this a trigger by clicking this box here where it says is trigger now we will duplicate this object and move it to the left so we'll right click on our object and hit duplicate then we'll rename it left side and we'll add a negative sign in front of our X value and we can see now it's jumped over to the left side of our screen so we have our left side and our right side now we will need to create the scripts that will be attached to these objects that will detect the collision of our main character so we will go to our scripts folder and we'll create a new C sharp script we'll call it right side and if we're ever going too fast for you you can always pause the video and make sure that you are caught up and then continue on with our video so we will open our script that we just created and when mono develop appears we will do the same thing that we did for our death zone where we de we deleted our update and our start function 
and we will add in that void function which was on trigger enter 2d and its parameters were a collider 2d and we'll call it other close our parentheses open our brackets inside we will have another if statement I will say if other dot tag equals equal is equal to box dude close the parentheses open the brackets inside the brackets we will say other dot game object dot transform dot position equals new vector 3 and then we'll open the parentheses but right here we're going to take a break and go back to unity and we need to get an, a number we need to find out where on the right we want our character to or where on the left I guess we want our characters to spawn when our character when our box dude in enters our trigger zone so we will temporarily drag our prefab character onto the screen and as we click on our right side and our box dude we can see here that this is the x value that is relatively close to our collider zone they're not quite touching and so we will make this to be 2.9 just to make sure that it definitely is less than the value needed to be colliding with our box collider now this will be the position in which they'll be spawning and so with the x value when it goes off the left side of the screen we want it to spawn on the right side and this x value is what we want and then for the when it goes off the right side of the screen and appears on the left side it'll be this same number but negative so now we can delete our box dude and go back to modern develop and we will hard code in 2.9 f and currently we're doing the right side so we want this to be negative 2.5 f and that will make it spawn on or reposition on the right on the left side of the screen then for the y value we want to to be the same position that the game object currently is so as it goes off the right side of the screen at a certain level or a certain height in the y position we want it to reposition itself at the same height on the left side of the screen so we'll, we'll go other dot game object dot transform dot position dot y and that will be the exact same value which it currently is then for the z-axis we want it to just be what it was before as well but we know what it was because it never changes it's negative 0.5 f now that we have the right side coded we can save this go back to unity and in our scripts folder we will create a new c-sharp script and we'll call it left side and we'll open that up and it's going to be the same code as our right, zone, right side but we will change this x value to be positive so we will select this function our on trigger our on trigger enter 2d function copy it go back to our left side delete our or replace our update and start function with that function and now we will change this x value to be positive so as we save it 
we can go back to Unity and now we will drag these two scripts that we just created onto our right side and our left side game objects. So we will select our right side, then drag our right side script onto it and do the same for the left side. Now that these scripts are attached, our box colliders will be functional. So as we hit play to test our game, our box dude will spawn. We'll have control over him as we have coded in our previous videos. And now as he enters one of these two zones, he will reposition himself on the other side of the screen. We will test it now. So our box dude has spawned. We have control over him. And I will select our right and left zone so you can see these collider zones. But as we move into one of them, he now repositions himself on the other side of the screen. And there you have the left and the right side boundaries coded and functional. So we will keep these functions in our game and now we will make sure that we go back to our prefabs and turn back the gravity scale to 1 and then we will save our scene and our project so that wasn't too difficult to have your character pop up on the left or leave the left side of the screen and pop up on the right side or vice versa but it was pretty fun and entertaining how that how that works it makes it look like the screen's connected yeah so yeah you, if you've ever played doodle jump before and held your phone to the side it you know, like falls really fast but it's i've tried it i've tried using that to see if it's a cheat but it's not cheat yeah a lot of times you just lose yeah you die pretty fast but a bunch of games use this technique, like Maelstrom, if you ever played that game back in the day, you, you were playing and you'd fly off any side of the you know, boundaries, and you'd pop up on the other side in the opposite corner or in the opposite top screen. So this is very helpful and useful in multiple, diff in multiple in all kinds of different games. Glad so, you were here to learn it from us. Yeah. Stay tuned and subscribe.